Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and all placements. It is wonderful to be here again, to see you, to talk with you, to share with you some of my insights and the intuition that I was given pertaining to these readings. Okay, uh, today we are, this is your short and sweet reading for November. I will put in the description exactly um, what the date says. In fact, I've already heard them. I just need to put them in. Um, but this reading is your short and sweet. And I asked the cards. I asked, I say, what is Leo's short and sweet? So um, we're using the Angel Romance deck. I'm using a deck called the Manga Tarot, which is one of my favorites. As you can see, the boxes I whipped down. And also, I got energy cards here. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the Energy Oracle. All right. Your Energy Oracle cards, you got two. Two came out for you, Leo. You got one said the financial constraints. Okay. The other one says indecision, Leo. Now, Leo, I want to let you know. That while I was meditating on your cards, uh, there's somebody that may be a, a counselor Leo cusp as well, okay? Somebody got counsel in their chart or somebody's on the cusp of being counselor and Leo, all right? This is what I heard. Leo, you're going to go out and be doing some celebrating, okay? You're going to go out, you're going to party. You're going to get your party on. But uh, there's going to be an altercation, a fight going to start. It's going to break out. Mm-hmm, Leo. Somebody going to get their ass whooped. That's what I heard. Somebody going to get their ass whooped. It ain't good to have no fight under the influence of alcohol because your balance ain't about jack crap. For some. All right. But to say you lost. You were successful, but you still lost. You might have whooped somebody behind, but you ended up coming home with the bruises. See? Uh, uh, somehow, you that was a loss. Okay? You might have stomped somebody down to the ground and lost your wallet. That could be why you had that five financial restraints. Constraints. All right. Feeling all okay, okay. And you got the star card. Mm hmm. Somebody feeling all good and stuff on their side. Yeah, somebody feeling real good. Feeling somebody feel like they are they connected and everything. Just wanted to get back on your ritual. I got you. I got you. You want to get back on your ritual. Uh huh. You feeling lovable. Uh, you ready to start over and do something new? Or you want to start over and start back partying again? Okay. Yeah. You got this big ass ace of cups. Big old cup of love. You feeling all peaceful and stuff. And this might be a whole different Leo. Okay. You feeling good. You feeling sexy. Uh-huh. You got your hair done. Mm-hmm. Ooh, your house is clean. Uh huh. Okay, you got your body just the way you want it. Uh huh. Cause on here, look like she got one of those uh, one of those uh, things around her waist. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't tell her shit. She knows she look good, baby. Hey. Mm hmm. But, but at the same time. Uh, you ain't moving. You you ain't moving. You done, done all of that. You got yourself looking good and stuff, but you sitting on your money. Your money ain't moving. Okay, somebody all up in their feelings about it, you know. They also say that the moon is a hit means that there's a secret or something hidden, right? Okay. And it got something to do with your precious things. You got some, okay, you, maybe your name precious, but your precious things. Right? So you got some things that are precious. Okay? And, um... Oh. Somebody going to the pawn shop? Is that what this is all about? 
you're going to be successful, but at the same time, uh, you lost something, but still you, you're successful. Maybe maybe you had something in the pawn shop, and you went to go get it and found out that they had sold it. Okay? However, uh, somebody's going to offer you a big-ass cup of love. Look like you got a message coming in. I hope it's not lost. Somebody's going to come in and help you out of this out of this financial constraints. Okay? All right? That's what you got, Leo. Leo, your, uh, your, your uh, angel romance card said, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Leo, they want you to love yourself first. And I know some Leos who dang blasted love they self for, for real. They ain't giving up nothing till everything that they want to do and everything that pertaining to them is taken care of. They got to have, make sure they stuff on point. Now, uh, now let's see what the manga deck says about all of these cards that we got right here. All right, we're going to go with the Three of Cups first since the Three of Cups is down now. Celebration and happiness, okay? So there's going to be some celebration and some happiness going on. And it says training, okay? Okay, so maybe it's going to be some people that's doing the exhibition of Taekwondo or Jiu-Jitsu, all right? Maybe these people that's doing Jiu-Jitsu and Taekwondo is also about to uh, be uh, upgraded. They're getting ready to go to the next level where they get their they belts, okay? So that could be the ceremony that we're talking about here. The Seven of Swords, okay? It says it's going to be a subtle action, okay? It's, something, it's not going to be something that's going to be striking. It's, it's subtle, like you already know what to expect, all right? We're just going to move on in it. Just keep going. I mean, it, there's nothing to get uptight about, upset about. We already know about it. Everybody knew in advance. We're just going to just go with it, go with the flow, so to speak. Okay, the next card you have is a star card. Card. And the star card is, uh, it says this is your guiding light. Okay. Now, the seven of swords said a subtle action. However, you're being guided. You're being guided in a subtle way. Okay. So what are you being guided toward? Your ace of cups. All right. Pure emotions. Your emotions are being guided subtly, subtly. Okay? Yeah, but you feel nice and sexy, baby. Uh-huh. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Uh-huh. You probably be laying up there with your legs semi-cross like this, lying across your bed. Mm hmm All right. The next one you got is that Knight of Pentacles. And this is a person that's living as a manager. Now, remember we talked about... Uh, a Leo Council Cusp. I'm sorry. Yeah, I said that right. Somebody that's a, a they might be council, but on the cusp of Leo as well. Or vice versa. Or like that. I don't know. Cause yeah, you hear what I said. Okay, so this person right here is living as a manager. Now this person may be a manager on a job. Okay. Or maybe a manager of apartment complex. Uh, but this person is living as a manager. It might be a micromanager over some other people. Okay. We got the moon card. And the moon card says the world in your mind. This is how you see the world in your mind. Leo. Okay. Moody. Not all Leos, but somebody's pretty moody. Somebody be, they mind be switching up stuff. They be on some emotional highs and lows. Okay. And they, uh, emotional highs and lows are about their precious things. The things that they find that are dear to them. Might be the expensive stuff. Maybe jewelry. Uh, maybe it's appliances. It might be even your car. You know, but they got some, some things that they really fond of that they're kind of worried about because of the financial constraint. Okay, so they're worried that they may end up losing some of this stuff. However, you got a Knight of Cups coming in. 
Your Knight of Cups is very loving. Okay, this person got some good news for you. They coming in, but let's see what the books say about this Knight of Cups. All right, the Knight of Cups says what? Yep, it says the same thing. Somebody that's a manager. So maybe somebody that's working as a manager is the one that's going to come in, which is good news and offer you some assistance, Leo. All right, Leo, that's your reading. We're 10 minutes in your, to your reading. All right, I think you and Libra got the longest reading so far. Thank you again for coming and viewing these videos. And um, thank you for the subscription. And those that have subscribed and those that just come through just to watch, I really appreciate you too. And like I said to all the others, uh, uh, Zodiac signs, you have really helped my life. Yes, you have. Allowing me the opportunity to use my gifts and tell you the things that I hear and see. All right, that's the end of your video. Got to let you go. Can't hold you long. Remember, short and sweet. See you again, Leo.